Oh. Obrigada. Obrigada. Welcome to my favorite country, Brazil. We will do a six week trip here in Brazil now. Uh, we're going to start in Salvador and have some beach life around Recife, Olinda and uh, Pipa. And then we will go to Natal as well, Fortaleza and <laughs> I really like Brazil. Everyone wonder have asked me was I robbed in Brazil? The and the answer is no, I was not robbed in Brazil. <laughs> I have a very very good time in Brazil. And this is my journey for 6 years, so for 6 weeks. And wow, I will <laughs> really love Brazil. What what can I tell about the experience yeah I can say that I spoke a lot through Google Translate uh, because the English in Brazil is uh, almost non-existent I think maybe 95% of Brazilian speak Portuguese uh, and maybe I if you meet some people from uh, Sao Paulo then uh, they speak some English otherwise it was a lot of Google Translate uh, I would say <laughs> so if you're going to come to Brazil and you don't speak Portuguese have an iPhone and uh, ha have internet uh, maybe an eSIM before you come and use Google Translate for almost every conversation <laughs> but they are very friendly the Brazilians that I met uh, as I say I started in Salador then I did the northern part uh, so I was in yeah after uh, Pipa I went to first something called Fortaleza and then I, uh, then I did some beaches around that area as well and everyone is super super friendly super happy it's always like a part in Brazil Wherever you go, is party, 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 and uh, even if the even if the communication is not <laughs> not great, but was uh, is still super fun, super fun, and people are happy. Uh, that's what I really like in Brazil. And here you see um, in the Lenches Maranaches is a lot of sand dunes. And also I did a hike for for uh, three days, two nights, and I slept in like local villages. And I had I had a private guide, and um, the, the the tour cost me around um, six hundred US dollars. So it was quite expensive, maybe five hundred. So d this was last year, so I don't remember exact price, but between five six hundred with a private guide and everything was included uh, but maybe a little bit over the price for me but it was one of my favorite experience on my travel was very very unique actually I really like it uh, I will re really recommend you to go there and do a hike in Lynches Marinaches and here I'm in like Al Alcatara and uh, is it like a small colony town? Uh, yeah, it was yeah, it was a good night, good day. Met met a Brazilian girl, and she was very lovely and talk about Rio de Janeiro because she was living there. Uh, but she was not in the video. <laughs> this is actually my first video I filmed, but my first country on YouTube. So <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, now, so yeah, now we are taking a ferry through the Amazonas 
So we are in Berlin. And here I'm talking about what, what the time is. So I will. Uh, this is in Swedish. Eller sätter sig i baren och dricker öl eller kola. Så egentligen har det inte. Det är bara intressant att se hur det är. Så en hängmatta när båten går. Det är väl det man är lite pirrig för att se på hur det ska gå. Men vi är fortfarande i Berlin. Ja, yeah, this, uh, this boat trip took me three days from so I went from Belém to something called Santarém. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm still in the Belém, <laughs> telling you guys. <laughs> and the time, the time is six o'clock, and the boat is, boat is supposed to leave. But no, <laughs> the boat left at like ten o'clock in the evening. So three days later, ah, uh, alter the show. I am in. The Amazonas. That was a lovely place. Alta do Chao. Have you been there? I was there during the rainy season, so they had a, a very beautiful island in the in the middle of the Amazonas. Uh, but it was overflowed when I was there. So yeah, here here I am in the Amazonas jungle. Ooh ooh ooh. Yes. And everything here is in Portuguese. The tour, it was a tour. I cannot, rep I cannot remember how much it was, but it was not that much. Maybe $50 or something. And the food was also included in this price. <laughs> but no one, but the guy was Portuguese. Was it like a local from uh, Alto de Chao? And now we are partying in the Amazonas. Yay, 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 yay. I love this, I love this. It's like everywhere you go in Brazil, it's party, party, party. I really want to go, go back to Brazil. Yeah. So, Andreas on a cargo ship in the Amazonas. This is the next journey. So now I'm going from, uh, from this uh, Santa Rhe to Manaus. It's also, I think, was two, three days. And here is the passport control and the check-in. I cannot really remember the price now. This was, was today maybe for three days. Two, 20, 30, 40 US dollars. Then you have to buy your own hammock. But here, here, here is the hammock area. And the brown one is mine. <laughs> Here, here is my 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 hammock. Yeah, and here is the food. Yeah, I really that was also a very good cool experience with the locals. Yeah, <laughs> that was, I really recommend you to go on this uh, cargo ship through the Amazon. It was very quite affordable, and you meet a lot of locals. A lot of Venezuelans, Peruvians, and uh, yeah, I met a German guy as well. I spoke to because he was the only we were we were the only uh, foreigners on this <laughs> on this boat. <laughs> yeah, but I really recommend you to do this cargo ship uh, uh, trip uh, if you have the time. Uh, but I was it's like lazy days. Me looking at people, maybe not as, because I, I speak a little bit a little bit Spanish, so I spoke a little bit uh, people from uh, Venezuela and Peru, but I don't speak Portuguese. <laughs> but here is the party with the local. They, they played like a local game. Like I don't, I don't, I did not really get the game, but it was uh, were, they were very cool. And here is party again on the boat. Way! <laughs> hey, hey! And the next day, yeah, you saw it with fire here.
timmar på båten. Mer än 50 timmar. Sex timmar. Nu ska alla av. Det ska bli spännande. Jag tänkte att det här stället var helt fullt. Liss eller liss för 50 timmar. Is it your car or? <laughs> yeah, now we are in the uh, on a jungle tour in the Amazonas again, outside uh, Manaus, and uh, yeah, this place was amazing. It's supposed to be, I think. Can be uh, I was in the younger for three days, three nights, and it was like 70 US dollars per night or something. Uh, I have a lot, one of these bungalow was mine, and then we did some uh, younger safaris. Uh, it was very affordable actually. Uh, I was also uh, in Colombia and Peru, and did similar experience, but. Brazil, I think, was the best the best experience. You you will see in the next video. I will do Peru in the next video, and I, I will do an uh, in Colombia video as well. So you will see my experience. Uh, but here, the, here was a I think Brazil was the cheapest one. Uh, I I thought before I went that uh, that Peru was supposedly more more cheaper to do the jungle. Uh, the the younger tour. I think uh, because in Manaus is so so many companies, so uh, it's a lot of competitions. That's why the younger tour is quite affordable in in Manaus. And yeah, soon we are going to fish pariahs. <laughs> yeah, I was here with, with the here is the pariah, the German guy that I met on the the cargo ship. He's the the, guy, the German guy in the car uh, earlier, so it was fun. He was uh, he, he he was a little bit crazy, <laughs> but fun. A, f a fun dude. Yeah, the see here, like the view is amazing. We are in the middle of uh, Amazon. I don't know. I have no clue where. Uh, a lot, maybe eight hours from Manaus, deep in the jungle. And now we are really going into the jungle. And uh, <laughs> yeah, we were supposed to. Uh, yeah, I did. Oh, uh, yeah, this was very nice. And here is we have a very poisonous poison snake yeah. we found in the camp. Nightmare. But we did not eat the snake. We we ate chicken here. And uh, yeah, hey. but. But this guy, they, they spoke very good English. Uh, was the only guys in <laughs> in Brazil that spoke perfectly English, better in, in English than me, I think. So we slept, we slept in the hammock like this. Uh, but so many mosquito bites, oh, Jesus! And now we are in President Verikiro. I don't cannot pronounce it right, but. There's a lot of waterfalls in this area. Yeah. And here I met a, a French guy that worked in uh, in Buenos Aires as, as a translator. So he spoke Portuguese fluently, so he was my guide for free. <laughs> so he was uh, driving us around to uh, a lot of waterfalls everywhere. Uh, uh, if you're going here, I will recommend you to have a car because the waterfalls is so so spread out. And now I'm back in Manaus. 
Uh, and here I met uh, long, 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 a, long. a Brazilian girl that I met in uh, another place in Brazil. Oh. She was taking me around uh, Manaus because she was from Manaus. Well, uh, she lives really? in Manaus. <laughs> and here he tried to <laughs> she tried to learn English and I tried to learn Upset. Portuguese. <laughs> but I don't know. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I think she spoke more English and she really wanted to uh, let me know. Oh, yeah, we're yeah, saying here, here we have this <laughs> English course <laughs> and Portuguese course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but she was fun. It was a little bit. Yeah, she was fun. It was very cute. Now I'm leaving. I'm leaving my house. I'm going to Tabatinga. Tabatinga is my last destination in Brazil. It's a border town with the Peru and Colombia so thank you for watching this video and uh, if you want to see all the short ones it's in Swedish uh, we have it I have it on, on my channel but this is I think this is is a best so you just watch this one <laughs> because this is uh, this was actually my first filming series in on YouTube so uh, I did not know anything about how to hold the camera, how to film, and I don't have a microphone on my uh, GoPro, so the sound quality in most videos is crappy as well. Uh, <laughs> so that's just why I'm doing this, so I can, yeah, remember a little bit my time in Brazil. But thank you for watching, and see you in the next video. The next video like this will be Peru and uh, but I have a lot of uh, videos on the channel so just go in on the channel and check it out and let let me know if you have some question about Brazil I will answer you and uh, ciao and have a great time in Brazil if you go to Brazil go to Brazil go to Brazil yay